Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics Problem of the Week. This week we're looking for when um, n to the fourth power plus four is prime and n is a natural number. So we know what it means for a number to be prime and that's when if its only factors are one and itself. And so we're going to try to uh, kind of work this into something we can factor and then set one of those factors equal to one and solve for n. And so that's the outline. And how we're going to do that is introduce a n squared plus two. Uh, sorry, uh, we're going to introduce a four n squared that's going to factor to n squared plus two. And so I've actually added zero to this, which doesn't change anything. But now uh, we've introduced something we can factor. So if I rewrite this, so I've rewritten it, and this is just a simple thing. We can factor that, and that is just uh, 2n whole squared. So here we just have, uh, we get our 4n and then we get our, our cross terms, which is going to be uh, 2 times 2, and then 2 squared is our last term, which is 4. So we have, uh, if you just want to foil this out to be sure, it's, uh, they're equal, and then I've just pulled out a square. So what this, uh, so now this is just the difference of two squares, and if you remember, a squared minus b squared is a plus b times a minus b. So I'm just going to set this equal to a, this equal to b in that, and rewrite it once more. So what we have now is We've, we've come up with two factors of n to the fourth plus four, and we want one of these to be equal to one, and the other one to be equal to its, to uh, n, four, n to the fourth plus four. Um, and it's much easier to check for when something is equal to one than when something is equal to some uh, number, square, number to the fourth power plus four. So looking at this term, we can see that that's never going to equal one if n is a natural number because it's always going to be greater than 1 because we have a, a 2 here. In fact, it will be greater than or equal to 2. Um, we have that plus 2. And this one, so that means this one must be equal to 1 if we want to solve uh, for when n to the fourth plus 4 is prime. So we have a simple equation. I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides. And this I can just factor out nicely. So we found our n value for when this equals 1, meaning uh, hopefully if we plug in n, n here, we're going to get, uh, or if we plug in n equals 1 to this one, we'll get n to the fourth plus 4. Um, and so plugging in 1 here, we get. We get 1 plus 4 equals 5. So that's the value for which um, you get when you plug in n equals 1. But when uh, n equals 1, n to the 4th plus 4 is prime. And so we're just going to check, make sure that this is equal to 5, which is 1 plus 2 plus 2, which is 5. And that's it. That we've, we've shown when n to the 4th plus 4 is prime. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little number theory problem. If you want more problems of the week or to subscribe to our YouTube channel or to visit our website where you can find a lot of math content, including research and textbooks, you can find the links to those over here. Also, there are cards to these links up in the corner if you're on mobile. Thank you for watching.